We are back. Yes, he's back. Back, back, back again. Sam is back. Tell a friend. Uh, watercolor. Plastic. For some reason, they don't mix. It makes a weird texture. Let's, uh, take advantage of that. And make the music a little bit louder. Uh, I forgot to turn on low latency. My bad. Can't, can't fix it now. It's fine. <laughs> I will keep on checking Chad, but if it takes me a while to respond to your message, that's why. <laughs> Good to have you back, Elaine. Um, let's go ahead. Okay, so I googled how to cut out paper snowflakes, which turned out to be super helpful. <laughs> um, because usually I would just kind of cut out randomly, and now it's like, I don't know. but anyways, first. Before we cut out paper snowflakes, but they're not paper, plastic snowflakes. Let's get our cards out. So I have two different envelopes. This is like a weird HP printout envelope. I don't know, it's the only one I found. And then there's another one of these. I wanted to find a bigger envelope. Uh, I'll be making two tonight. Yes, what is your question? The email was not valid. Let me look. <laughs> At the contact info. Studio. Fine art classes. Bellevue. Bellevue Studio. Contact. Contact Crossroads? Okay, I have an alternative one you can try. Copy. Um, downtown Studio. Paint at BellevueStudio.com. That is definitely what it is. There are two different emails. So I'm not quite sure. One of them might be more legit than the other. So let me try the other one, which I just need to write on here. They're both at BellevueStudio.com, so I'm not sure why it would be invalid. Okay, anyways, this other one. is crossroads at and make sure that um it's it's case sensitive i i assume and it's all lowercase it says an extra i'm sure you already knew that but i don't know covering my bases couldn't fit the dot I couldn't fit the com it's fine uh anyways let's cut out some more watercolor paper um I'll bring this up later in case if you didn't have time to copy it so let's see this is watercolor um 400 series best, according to Strathmore. Um, it's 11 by 15. It's a little bit extra for what we need to do, but here we are. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna put a big W on the wrong side. And now we can Proceed. Keep this it's here. Um, pencil. So for this one, 
I think I'm not going to have it be a folding card because I don't know if it'll make the letter too bulky. So instead, it's just going to be a front and back kind of situation. So you can have your uh, art on the front and then a message on the back. Or you can use it as a gift tag. You, you could do a lot of different things with this, with this thing. It doesn't have to be in a card. I just want like a size to start with. I am doing that. Actually, that's a good idea. Like a gift tag. Let's make a gift tag. Make this one into a gift tag. I need a eyeball it. It's gonna be one of those oversized gift tags. <laughs> and just put a rhombus on the side of this rectangle and uh, now we have a gift tag. I have a hole in it. So there's the gift tag. Yeah, try try that. So sorry that didn't work for you. I have no idea. I don't know why. I don't know why that wouldn't work. But here we are. And just to try to save for this. You are welcome. And we're kind of tracing this. Oops. It worked? Okay, awesome. It's like not the studio that our boss is like usually at is where that email's gonna go, but oh well. Oh, that's spoilers. But let me cut this out. Oop, ba -da -ba -da. Cut the W out. I cut the W out. W. That's the wrong side. Okay, well, I'm glad that worked. Let's cut out these cards. cool thing about this mushroom uh, pencil sharpener is that it's also an eraser. The giant gift tag. You can put on a you can put this on a car. Yeah, it is big, but that's cool. It's a little extra, but you know that matches my personality. Okay, so why we cut out these first is that we need to know how big a snowflakes we want to cut out to put on top of these. Because when I was making an example, I kind of found that if you draw, if you make like big snowflakes, then kind of hard to tell that they're snowflakes. I actually tried to put two layered on top of each other. That made it even less clear. So we're gonna try to cut out real small snowflakes and they don't have to be snowflakes. I tried, I also experimented and tried a star, but it just kinda, I think the snowflakes just look good. So yeah, cut out snowflakes. 
I have six different templates for these snowflakes. And I'll show you how to fold up the snowflakes and how to cut them out. But I also have this little like boop, so I can have, I can show the snowflake patterns at any time. In the meantime, let's get our plastic bag. Um, this I made. I googled a bunch of templates. You can like Google snowflake cutting patterns. And I just copied ones that I think would be cool to try onto here so that I can have them in one spot and I could show you in one spot instead of like showing you through four different links to images of snowflake cutting out things. Uh, let's see. So for this, I'm sure this is uh, not loud and obnoxious at all. Uh, we have, uh, it's kind of like folded in here. So I just pull it. These break really easily. So I just kind of want to lay it flat. So I'm just going to do that. Now we can lay it flat. I'm lost. I'm lost. Okay. So I want the snowflake to be like this big. So I need to cut out a very loosey-goosey square that's around this big. Just gonna cut off the... Cut off the handle real quick. Recycle! Remember to recycle the scraps. I'm gonna kind of use this as a guide of how big I should cut out these squares. Oh, the mushroom eraser sharpener. I don't remember where I got it, unfortunately. I got it a very long time ago. to cut out all of these. Let's see, there are six different ones. So since I'm cutting out two at a time, I only need to cut out one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We don't have to be precise yet. <laughs> let's see. Let's make another square. That's these two. And then where's my giant gift tag? I guess I'm trying to make this into a square. These will be really small snowflakes. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you how we fold these up, which hopefully with this red, with the red background, it'll be easy to show how I fold them. I'll fold some big ones first. Okay, this is how, you can do this with paper, you can do this with anything that you can fold, I guess. I just thought it was cool to do it out of this. So, to start your paper snowflake, you can take a sheet of printer paper, whatever, and just fold triangle. And since this isn't a perfect square, there's like overlap, so I'm gonna... Let's 
trim off the overlap. Okay, so if I unfolded this, it would probably make a lot nicer of a square. So after that, I'm gonna fold it into a triangle again. Then think you'd be doing the uh, folding in this watercolor tutorial, huh? So we have that. Okay, so now we have a smaller one, and then we have one part of the triangle that has the two folds and one of them that just has the one. So the one with the with the two folds, we're going to kind of fold it into thirds. This will take a little bit of finagling from the point down to like about here, Maybe a little bit less. And then fold this over and it should fold over and touch this edge that's how you'll know it's in thirds okay so we have that we have this extra stuff this extra stuff just gets trimmed off so now you have triangle one that has like that just folds over once and then this other one that has an opening in the middle like that so we got our patterns here if you'd like you can take a sharpie or a marker or something i have that nearby i do Let's start with an easy one. Let's do like... Let's do like that one. Like the videos? Oh, the... What videos? <laughs> Doesn't matter to me if we make big marks on here. I would be really glad if there are these vids every week. Oh man, tell my boss that. <laughs> I do stream on my own for fun, but um, those are my uh, grown-up streams. <laughs> So let's do let's try that first. Be careful when working with scissors, kids. Okay, here we go. Oop. Oh no. Boop. There. You have sharp scissors that would probably help. You have to be careful of my internet footprint though are smart you'll find my other accounts somehow <laughs> okay here we go we got so we cut this out not not too hard a little tricky because you're trying to cut out like plastic if you have sharp scissors and kind of turn it That'll help. And now we can carefully unfold it. Mm 
Reveal a snowflake! Yay! Da -da -da. So that's what the second pattern is. That one there. Number two. So I think... So I have these two extra small ones, so I think I'll try to do some easier ones for the small ones, and the bigger ones I can do some more complicated looking ones. It is a good one to start with though. Ones that you don't... Ones that are... Uh, you don't have to cut in curves is easier. Okay, so let's get rid of that just for a second. Actually, no, let's keep it on. I can show you both. You have no idea? Okay, G good. <laughs> okay, let's show how to fold up one of these again. I probably won't use all six of these, but I do want to show you all six. cut the overlaps. Say I'm something. Okay, well you haven't found my online alias, so that's good. <laughs> Which is more like a like a gamer tag situation. That is not my name. Do, do, do. Not that. Doesn't have to be perfect since I think we're trimming out the ends anyway. Fold it into another triangle and now fold it into a thirds. That's about good. And here. That kind of got folded back. Did you see that? Okay, fixed it. Okay. So the other big one... Let's do uh, the second from the right, that like zigzaggy looking one. The zigzaggy looking one. This light is so harsh. <laughs> Can't get over. Can't get over it. Hold on a second. I gotta be my mic for a second because I'm gonna be loud. Okay, okay, the light is a little bit softer. Still not great. Oh, thank you. I've um, I've enjoyed painting my nails. That's been my primary like quarantine activity that I've adopted. It's just um, going to the Bartell Drugs every now and then and getting um, nail polish. And this is a very cheesy time of year where I can have very cheesy nails. Thank you. I actually don't know if I'm on the right side. I think I need to flip it over. Yeah, the side with the fold I think should always be on the left. I think if it's on the right, it doesn't make that huge of a difference. But I haven't cut out enough snowflakes to really say for sure. <laughs> Try 
triangle. Oh wait, no, there's like a triangle. And then one of these. And then another triangle. They're still all straight lines, so yes, focus. Okay. So I like to make one cut and then turn it and then make the other cut. So I'm always kind of approaching from the outside until I feel it like break off. This one I probably won't be able to do that because I need to change directions here. that little triangle there. Please get nail polish. Oh, I did do it by myself. <laughs> well, I, I've been practicing since March, so I, I've, I was always getting it on my skin before. Um, but then I practiced and I got better at it. And now I'm, I'm a lot better at not getting it on my skin, but I still do. Um, Let's see, I repainted this nail like yesterday and you can still see it. Yeah, a little bit, it's a little bit there. Complicated. Boop. Boop. Okay. Sorry if that wasn't all the way in frame, but let's cut out these pieces. Like, these are weirdly fragile and also sturdy, so I'm just kind of being gentle, but also trying to separate it and flatten it out best I can. Oh, I knew that one would be fancy. Ooh, look at how fancy that is! Ah, practice. <laughs> Everyone's favorite word. Yeah, I really like that one. That'll be a cool one. Okay, uh, let's do another one. It might be nice to get the wrinkles out of these beforehand, but eh, it's not like I can iron it. Immediately melt. Uh, let's see. Which one should I do next for another big one? Probably, probably that one. The far, the top right one should probably do because of that little area too. Yeah, the music's nice. Turn it up a little bit. Actually, no, it's already pretty loud. Let me know if it's too loud and you can't hear me. Because what I have to say is very important, okay? Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. We focus. Focus. Yeah, just cutting one layer of plastic is a lot trickier than cutting six layers of plastic. It's just so slippery, the, the scissors don't want to do it. 
Okay, so we have a triangle. Fold it into another triangle. They are cool. And I know I said I would cut them all out now, but I think if I just cut out the first three and then we do the first painting, I think that'll give a good amount of time for them to dry if we cut out the next three and do the other painting. And then by the time that's done, then the first one will be dry. I think we'll do that. So I'm only going to cut out this one and then we'll do the first painting. And then we'll cut out more later. Boop. Okay, so the side that has the fold and the side that's open, you could un unfold it. This side you can't. This side is on the left. Right? Yes. This side is on the left. It's not perfectly folded into thirds either, but it's not a big deal. Okay, which one was I gonna do? Oh yeah, the top right. So this has like a rounded top. And then it goes like that. We have something like that. Then we have this big triangle cut out. And then another big triangle cut out. Okay. See how that goes. <laughs> this is the Walmart snowflake. <laughs> Yup. Well, these snowflakes aren't going to be part of the final picture, which kind of makes me a little sad. So if they're cut out of, like, white paper, I could still, could still use them as decorations. But this is just so that we can see it in the watercolor. And this is the hardest part of the watercolor. Once we get into the actual painting, it's going to be super easy. It's kind of the part that takes the most uh, motor control. And patience. Like painting your nails. Okay. Whew. Have this. What? Oh. I'm in frame. Yeah, my strategy is just starting from the outside, not tilting like I'm on the outside of the fold. Boop. And then instead of continuing there, I stop and then I start from the outside again. Okay. Let's see what the Walmart snowflake turns out as. Try not to be too, too rough with it. Also likes to stick together a little bit, so oh boy. Oh Okay, we're good.
Okay, this one's all right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just trying to make it flat. Okay, so we have three fabulous snowflakes. And if you want to see that snowflake pattern thing again, just let me know. But for now... Oh no, you ripped it. You know what? Honestly, that's that's not even a big deal. If it's only ripped a little bit, um, then it'll still work. away these scraps. Okay. Make it rain. Ah! Okay. Make it snow. Haha. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get our watercolor paper out. Okay. That's the wrong side, so this is the right side. Let's set aside our delicate little plastic snowflakes. And if the plastic's really giving you trouble, um, you can also cut them out out of wax paper, if you have any, and it'll have the same effect, or at least from the tutorial that I saw, it, ha it will have the same effect. Okay, so don't need a sketch, don't need anything. Just need to know what side's the right and the wrong side. Let's get out the watercolor. So when I was doing practice ones, I mixed two different blues and a purple. And I think for this one, I will do a similar situation. And I almost dipped my brush into my cup. I need my water, my paint water cup. Okay, so you know the drill with watercolor. Uh, even if you're using like the studio set, you just gotta put the water in there. Except for Christmas, I mean, it's an, it's an exciting time. It most certainly is. And then I'm also going to put some in my red. And then if you have a test strip, you can get that out. Yeah, the teachers use test strips too. It's going to deposit some blue in here. Blue is very strong. This blue. I'ma just bop like this vid. <laughs> bop? <laughs> okay, so that's a nice kind of weaker color. And then I also really like this reddish. No, what? Reddish? This greenish blue? What am I saying? You want your colors to be around the medium strength a little and plus a little bit more you want it a little bit stronger because when it's a wet on wet wash the color is going to be watered down a little bit because it's going on top of water that's good and then let's make a purple y'all remember what colors make purple, right? I'm starting with blue since that's the weaker color. And 
And then I'm just sneaking in little bits of red. It's hard to see. More red. A little bit more water. That's a little bit more purpley. I think I want it to be a little bit uh, warmer of a purple. And a little bit weaker. Okay, yeah. This in comparison to this. This is very purple in comparison to that one. Okay. So I got my three colors. I think I want a little bit more of these two, especially this one. It's always good to make too much color than not enough. Just flinging some, some water into there. What, um, Elaine, what is the thing that you are most excited for, for, for Creamy? i to make this color a little bit stronger. I'll put a little bit of blue into it, too. It'll look nice. So your colors don't have to be the same as mine. They just gotta be... Whatever you want, really. I would suggest two different blues and a purple. That's what I would suggest. But you can do whatever you want. You're your own artist. You're your own person. Just gotta make sure you mix enough. I'm going to set this aside since we do not need it anymore. Well, we do, but you do not need to see it anymore. <laughs> Sprain. Okay, before I start, I want to erase the W here. I just remembered that this is our whole card. It's a colored pencil, so it won't erase. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Try to get a good focus on here. Okay. So, what on what? Yeah. Yeah, like... You're excited for Christmas? Are you most excited for the presents? Are you gonna be able to be excited to like do a Zoom call with the family? Are you excited for eating cookies? Well, what what are some Christmas traditions that you think are are uh, unique in your family? Maybe that's a better question. Like, one of my favorites was that um, my older brother would always get up before everyone else because he was an early bird. And he would um, take all the presents from underneath the tree and sort them out to where we were going to sit. So when we finally woke up, we were all ready to go. <laughs> that is a fond memory. So I have the water here. As you can see, I didn't go all the way to the edge because I just kind of like the look of the color. It kind of makes its own border. Um, so let's see. I'm going to start with 
It is a lighter color, and this is wet on wet, so this is fun. We're just gonna go woo! But if you're following Alani Lane, you don't need to respawn right this second, because we're we're in a time-sensitive moment right now. And then here's my like kind of dark purpley color. Just gonna scoop up some of the blue. Really like this blue. More of this blue. A bit more purple. That for opening presents and eating a lot of junk food. Ah, yeah. Okay, so before this dries, I mean, it'll kind of settle to the edges, which I want to pick up just a little bit. So you just tap your brush off on your paper towel, soak up the edges a little bit. And now, um, take one of your plastic snowflakes and start at the edge and slowly like lay it on top of the water so i'm gonna do a two layer one i'm gonna put this one here the plastic will want to like suck itself into the water and kind of coax it with your finger or even a paintbrush. I got a lot of wrinkles in my first tries. So I'm just trying to go nice and slow here. Paintbrush. Uh oh. Okay, you can peel it back up a little bit. But up, 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 up. Ooh, excited for no school, probably, too. Well, hmm. I'm gonna use the handle of my brush to try to spread out and press this in a little bit more. pretty wet it still seems pretty wet um yeah. actually want to put this now I'm gonna put this one here in this, this corner You want to do this while the paint is still wet, and there we go. So I guess if your uh, <laughs> if your snowflake is more simple, it'll be easier to do this too. Of course, I had to pick the most complicated looking snowflake ever, and then there's gonna be lots of gaps, but it'll still look neat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I've only done this a couple times, but I don't see anything wrong with adding some more color on here. It's kind of curious to see what would happen. Oh, now I need to make this look like it's part of it. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, all completely intentional. Do do do. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay, I would say that is enough fussing with that. We'll see what happens. It'll be kind of like opening a present by peeling this up. Gotta wait for it to dry first, though. That's why we're doing two of these projects. Because this has to dry for quite a while because it's a wet on wet. If you have a hair dryer, you can use that, but eh. Okay, so while we wait for that to dry, we can cut up some more plastic snowflakes. We have three more to oh, three more that we can see. Um get this back being visible. Let's do an extra small one and then a big one, then uh the last extra small one. Just trying to make the triangle into a nicer triangle. Oh boy. Yeah. Who knew this is so satisfying? Yeah, it is. It's definitely an interesting uh, technique that piqued my interest. There's so much things that you can do with watercolor. wasn't really quite in thirds. Let's fold this over a little bit more. <laughs> so slippery! Oh, it's so hard to fold teeny tiny ones. Teeny tiny snowflakes. On slippery plastic. Yeah, if anyone has any, uh, wax paper, let me know if that's any easier. I do not have wax paper. Okay, let's do this, um, this round one next. The one on the top left. I really like that one. That's the side that's folding up, so the side that has the fold, have it that on the left. We got a bump, and a bump, and a bump there. Circle cut out there, an oval cut out here. Another little oval cut out here, and then bigger oval cut out there. Okay, this is round, so that this might be a little bit deceptively tricky because all the cuts are round. Yeah, just use the sharpest part of your scissors, which is usually near the back. And I'm moving the uh, the snowflake cut out 
snowflake instead of moving the scissors. I once helped an installation artist cut out like hundreds of these plastic pieces for a, an installation. He was hanging them all up on the on the wall. And I use this technique a lot of just letting the scissors slowly close and then moving the thing along the line that I'm that I was cutting. Okay, this one's gonna be super cute. Oh, I also forgot to fold it in half again. So I only got half a snowflake. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I could still use it, though. <laughs> it's a very cute half snowflake. <laughs> Did I seriously? Really? No, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. I got all of it. Hey, fake out. Okay, never mind. I did get a whole snowflake. Fake news. Okay, yeah. This is adorable. Hands are messy. Well, well that's Well, that's a good sign that the the art's going well. Okay. So the last small one, can either do the bottom left or the bottom right. I think I'll do the bottom left for the last small one. I don't know how that one's gonna look. We'll see. So I folded it in half, folded it in half again. Now we fold it into thirds, which is kind of the awkward part. I mean, these ones are so small. It's like, it doesn't have to be. Okay. Part with the fold is on the left side. Trying to fold it into a better third. Okay. Go. And we're gonna kind of do a half circle. And this part that goes all the way down. And we have some parts that go diagonally up. Another part that goes diagonal. Okay. Let's see how that looks.
Be careful to cut through all those layers. Bam. Bam. Bam, bam. You know when the next video will be made at? Um, that's a good question. Because I've been doing streams for, like, holidays uh, occasions. Like, I made one, like, I did streams for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. And now for holidays. <laughs> Winter holidays. And I think it's a little bit too soon. Uh, there aren't any plans for me to do anything for New Year's. But, uh... I don't know, just whenever my boss asks me. <laughs> Do more. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when the next one will be. This will probably be the last one for this year. Okay, this one turned out interesting. Try to flatten it out a little bit more. Because it's connected here, but nowhere else. Ah. It's wanting the... Wanting to... Yeah, I probably won't use this one. But it does look pretty cool. The parts that did work out. <laughs> but I probably won't use which means we got one more left to cut out. Fold it in half, fold it in half again. But let's just say, this up so I can keep up with videos. That is a great idea. Because I am the only one who uh, streams on here. We did have tentative plans to have other people have other teachers stream on here, and I still think that's a good idea. But, um,. I'm the only one that has, like, this whole document, camera, scene changing... Hi. Uh, scene, uh, scene changing <laughs> setup. Alright. See you soon. We'll blow dry that art. I'm gonna start on this next one. And keep going. Okay, the last one is this bottom right one, which I am intrigued. It's pretty much a diagonal line from the tip of this to the bottom. And this little part is actually the part that gets cut out. And then... Have another loop there, and then we have these two pretty much leaf shapes. Let's put let's move this one more like here. Then this one's a bigger one. Yeah, this one is probably gonna be a little tricky to cut out, but let's see how it goes. <laughs>
Okay. And this one goes like that. It is the tricky part, trying to cut out, whoops, I mean trying to cut out this little part. hold all the folds together if it starts to want to unfold on you. Okay. Now let's un... un... see what we got here. <laughs> we can speak words. could have could have went with a little bit more action in the center center is pretty barren but how it kind of looks like little petals is pretty cute it is a flower so yeah So for this one, may maybe we should plan out the arrangement a little bit more before we, before we hop into it. Hop into the second one. If this focuses. Focus. There. So I definitely want to use this one. But I'm kind of debating on whether or not just to use this one. We can put this one in the middle. And then write like a message here. And we'll just do that. Okay, so we have that. We have the game plan. So, thank you. Pretty beautiful. I do have the paint that I mixed for the last one, but let's just make sure it's all nice and hydrated and that I have enough. This purple seems like a little bit too strong, so I'm gonna add a significant amount of water in that. Okay, give them little tests. That one's good. I think it needs to be more purpley, though. Usually red is a lot stronger of a color, so you don't need nearly as much. Here we go, now it's purple, but I don't think it needs more. But I think this particular red that I'm using, I think is quite weak. Okay, that looks good. And that looks good, and yeah, sure. Looks good. Expensive, the price tag. 
It's a new car. All right, so we're on to here. Yeah, a similar deal. Should I add... Hmm. Okay, I know I didn't put this in the supply list, but since it looks like a like a like a gift tag, I have painter's tape. <laughs> I'm gonna tape my edges. Of course this is optional, because I didn't do it for the first time. I am going to do for this one. I also want to cover up this part of it and maybe paint it something else. Maybe give it some red stripes. I was just thinking about washi tape. <laughs> I might use washi tape for the embellishments. I want to embellish it. I'm probably blocking the camera right now. Okay. I have it at arm's reach, too. I have a whole rainbow. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to tape. I don't know. It was too thin. Okay. Another one on wet. I'm gonna tilt, I guess, this whole paper up now. Because I want... When making a wet on wet wash, it's important to make a drip for yourself. So that the water doesn't pool up in weird places. Go like you're doing a flat wash. Okay, tap your brush out, pick up the drip, tap your brush up the drip okay cool now we can lay it flat and add a bunch of weird stuff i mean i guess if you want like a flowy look you can still have it tilted whatever you want like you could do this is still like very dark for me. Okay, not too much touchy. Okay, now where is the snowflake? 
that I'm going to put on here. Okay, it's over here. Okay, what's the best looking? This part. Well, this part. Gently place it on there. I kind of want to go from bottom to top so that you can kind of flatten it down. The less gaps you have, the better. If there's little gaps, that's fine. Using the back of my paintbrush to try to press these gaps to the paper. Very resourceful. I have this, um, if I want to keep my, um, my work tilted the whole time, I have, um, this board. This wooden, wooden board that I can't show in the frame right now since I'm too zoomed in. <laughs> why is there no, why is there no paint sticking to that part? What? What? Is that like an eraser shaving? That. Okay. No touchy. No touchy. No touch. Okay. Time to wait for that one. Sometimes it is just a one and done kind of situation. Okay. So if we remember, I ended up adding a lot more paint on this side. And it looks a lot different than the one where I didn't add a lot of paint to. So I'm interested to see how it looks. Because <laughs> I kind of experimented a little bit myself here. Oh, it's not dry yet. I'm gonna peel it up anyway. Whoa. <laughs> I think it's because I got a bunch of paint um, underneath it, it did that. Interesting. Let's peel up this one. That is dry. Okay, so that's more the effect that we were expecting. Um. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with this. <laughs> but you know, that's... Fill this in. But you know, that's the beauty of art. <laughs> don't quite... It's like a box of chocolates. You don't quite know what you're gonna get. Is there are like a lot of gaps. What if I just kind of fill it in? It doesn't have that strange texture that this has, at least mostly. So if I tried to fill in some gaps, it wouldn't be super noticeable. And let's see, what if I just... I still have all the colors I mixed, I might as well use them to experiment a little bit more. Yeah, this is no longer part of the tutorial. I'm just messing around.
What is going on here? Alrighty, Lane, you, you, if it's, if it's dry, I mean, not like I waited until <laughs> it was dry. It's a fun, interesting thing to experiment with. Yeah, this looks interesting. So this is kind of like, I guess, like a snowflake that's in the background, this is a snowflake that's in the foreground, and this is here. Eh. And then this is also when we can introduce, like, if you have white, your white gouache, you can splatter some snowflakes on here. Or, I'm gonna be lazy and use my paint pen again. some snowflakes. Little white dots if you want, or just leave it as it is. I think it would look good either way. So that's kind of how that turned out. Only one, six, only one was successful. That's all right. The important part is that we tried. This isn't... I don't think this is dry yet either, but um, I also need to wrap up the stream in like five minutes or less. I only really wanted to spend an hour and a half on this, but... So let's just see. little bit impatient here. I guess if you have tweezers, that would be a good tool to have. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and use my brush to kind of soak up some of this extra paint here. I'm I'm like not even touching the paper. I'm just trying to lift up this paint. Like barely touching the paper. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. That looks really cool. I'm gonna try to close up yeah, what if, all right, y'all, hear me out. What if we don't wait for it to dry all the way? And then you can like fill in the gaps with this. Well, imagine that there's a message written on here, which I can't add right now because it's still like, it's not completely dry. Um, but I believe it would be fun to peel off the tape because that is satisfying to look at. We 
Uh oh. Uh, I'll put whatever. <laughs> If an edge is messy, um, wide out. <laughs> it's like an ombre, like, okay, I can't ex- um, I know this is supposed to be like a lesson tutorial or whatever, but I can't explain this. It just looks cool. <laughs> I'll have to experiment with this medium a lot more. Let me get out the the red paint pen. Shaky. Shaky shaky. Just gonna put some stripes on here. You're someone who likes and appreciates straight lines. Um, I'm sorry. The stream is not for you. want to put stripes along these bits too. Get a fun little border.
okay. It's still um, too wet to write on top of, but I'm gonna have to take my word for it that it would look cool. Okay, so we have that, and then where'd I put the one? Okay. All right, went a little, just a little bit over time, but. So that is the conclusion of this kind of plastic watercolor resist technique which is very interesting it can go in a lot of different directions as you can see you can wait for it to completely dry and it kind of has this um this outline and this texture or you can add a bunch of paint underneath it so it all kind of gathers underneath and becomes stronger than the background or not wait for it to dry completely do that there's several ways and it doesn't even have to be snowflakes too i tried to do um whoops i tried to do tried to experiment with like christmas lights too but I wasn't super fan of how it turned out, but that's what experimenting and learning is for. And we got some pretty cool things out of it. So um, just remember at the end of the day to have fun. So again, I don't know when the next uh, stream will be, but I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. And if you made anything tonight, be sure to email it to babam crossroads at bellevuestudio.com because for some reason the other email wasn't working. And then hopefully that will reach um, the boss somehow and then I'll be able to see it, which I would love. Uh, always remember to clean up your station after you're done so that you're good to start next time. Whoops. Oh, geez. Okay, it's fine. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you later. Everybody have a good night and have a, a happy and safe holiday season. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.